Welcome to another activity! This one's category and sort picture with people. Subject matter portraits. Show somebody. So this one we're actually going to look at pictures around your house. Could be anything. Could be pictures around your wall. Could be in magazines. Anything where there's pictures. And you're going to sort them based on basically if it's a portrait, if it's landscapes, if it or if it had a lot of base on lines or have shapes and colors. You go and figure out how you're going to determine how you're going to these pictures. So I got a few pictures. Uh, of course, there's this one. It's a portrait. It's actually my dad when he was in the Navy. Um, of course, there's the this picture here. Of course, there are of course some pets over here, and then my parents over here, and me. This one, I think I don't know when I was probably either in junior high or early in high school. And then I have this other picture right here. This is a wedding picture here. So you could sort these, I said, any way you could think about it. I said, you could think about the colors, you know, like this one. I could sort this by the colors, you know. This one's green, this is pant life. There's the blue, the, or of course, any way you could sort these. Of course, there are people, so you could sort them as people. So, how I'm going to sort these, I'm kind of going to move this camera down so you can see how I'm going to sort them. Of course, I'm thinking, I'm going to sort them based on the number of people in them. So, where it is, I'm missing a photograph! Alright, so... I have, um, so, this one has one person, this one has two people, and this one has three. So, I'm thinking I'm going to start, this one has this one, one picture, one, and of course, three. Oh. oh. Wait a minute. Three doesn't doesn't go after one. Does oh, I need to find a picture that has two, don't I? So then I try to figure. It's, it's hard to figure out. Not everything's in the thing, but I have a portrait of one person. My dad in the navy. Me and my wife during our when we got married at Lions Park and then this is my family when I my dad and mom and me at in my uh, grandma's uh, and grandpa's uh, gazebo during their 50th anniversary so there's that way I said you could sort these anyway and so oh so I'm going to this one I'm thinking about I'm starting to if it had if it's outdoors. So I have two pictures outdoors here. There, there's, of course, there's this one, we're outdoors in here. Of course, the cat named Mickey, and she's outdoors. And then I'm thinking, then there's this one also outdoors. So I've now sorted these. So you can sort these any way you think about it. So many ways you could sort them. Even could you do sort in a few pictures, put them away, and start another sorting. And that's one thing how one thing why I'm sorting these things is this is how art museums or any museum uses to to create an exhibit. They're looking at artwork and they know what. Okay, these are the things that we're looking for the exhibit. What things? What? 
what matches this thing. So I'm doing a whole exhibit of bowls. So I'm, not, I'm going to look at in my collection of things about bowls and all that. And I might, you know, something really look. I might try to ask another museum to have their, can you bring the earth to create this exhibit? And that's how they do it. And they, when they get in these, sort them out. And they sort them out also to help them tell a story and how they're going to sort them. So, like, if you went to, to, let me see my files. So, like I said, you could go to the museum and how they organize it. So, so like, if you went to Monet's exhibit, so they started from, they started based on his early work all the way to his last work when he passed away. So, they created this whole story based of his life and his artwork. And they, that's how they sorted it out. But sometimes, they might decide, oh, I'm going to sort his artwork based on, I'm going to get all the artwork that Monet did about his garden. So they get all the artwork that his garden is and they sort him based on that. And they could sort about the date they were made or, or the size. It depends on what kind of categories and what, how they're going to create them. So hopefully you have fun creating, trying to create your, your basically category and inserting your artwork so have fun hopefully you enjoy these activities and lessons and i will see you next time bye